cutting the fun out of school. That's the concern for some parents as Tulsa Public Schools considers eliminating various athletic programs to clear room in their budget. Two Works for You reporter Katie Wisely is live at Hale High School tonight where one sport could be cut. Katie. Brian and Karen, good evening. Almost every high school in the district could lose an athletic program and here at Hale High School, that's possibly baseball. So I remember that field vividly. There may not be anyone in the bleachers or on the field. We were in the city championships. The game was tied two to two into extra innings. But for Donna McCarty, the memories are still clear as day. I hit that ball right over the second baseman. Home run. We won the game. Proposed budget eliminations by TPS show cutting a number of athletic programs. One is possibly the baseball program at Hale High School. We were pretty good at it as a team, you know, and that, that did a lot for me socially. An option McCarty wants her three-year-old grandson, Jace, to be able to make himself. It is sad for our kids. Across the park sits Sherry Ross. She graduated from Booker T. Washington in 1969. And my grandson wrestles, so I, I wouldn't want that cut. The school's wrestling program potentially on the chopping block. We have one of, uh, one of our of guys went to the Olympics and won, so it's, it's, it's very important. This chart, a list of potential deductions. A lot of students uh, get involved into sports in my age so they can get like scholarships for colleges and uh, just get noticed. The National Federation of State High School Associations says students who play sports in high school are more likely to be engaged in the community. If we don't get involved inside of something that keeps us going, then it might make us lack in school. For now, the community wonders what may be next. No final decisions have been made at this time. These are just proposed eliminations at every school in the district. Those final decisions, though, will be made May 15th at the school board meeting. Reporting live in Tulsa, Katie Wisely, Two Works for you.